What's this? We've got regular expressions in Excel. That's right. May 20, 2024. And this is now available in the beta version of Excel. So if you're in the beta program, you can access these. If you'd like to know how to get in the beta program, stick around to the end of the video. I'll cover that. But for now, we've got three to go over. We've got regex test, regex extract, and regex replace. They're all doing a similar thing. It's various versions on the theme. We're testing a pattern match. So this checks whether the pattern matches any part of the provided text. So we use a regular expression along with a cell reference, and it's going to return true or false. In the extract version of this, we're going to use that same test, and then we're gonna pull out whatever is matched by the regular expression. And finally, in the replace, you guessed it, we're going to test the cells, we're going to match it up, and then we're gonna replace whatever it has matched with something else. They're using phone numbers in here. In the workbook, I'll show you in just a moment, I'll, I'll use social security numbers. It's got some tips and tricks in this article, which is linked in the description below to get you started. But as you know, if you're a human like me, there is no way to comprehend the scope and breadth and depth of regular expressions because it's just mind boggling. That's why we've created ChatGPT. We'll go over that in just a second, but it really is the best use case for AI. The availability, as I said, is currently in the beta channel, uh, and we've got some feedback info here. As more things are released, they will update this article. It sounds like they're planning on, where is it, regex coming soon to V or to X lookup and X match. So they're gonna introduce a way to use it with these two functions, a new option for their match mode arguments. Pretty sweet. Let's check this out in a workbook. So we have some Data right here, fake data, names, emails, social security numbers. In our regex test, we're just gonna test whether this email address is a valid email address. Now I had no idea how to write this regular expression and here it is down here so you can see it a little bit more easily. And it just looks like a bunch of nonsense. Look, it's everything in between quote marks. That's why we used chat GPT. So I came over here to chat GPT. I said I needed to check for a valid email address and this worked and it broke down how it worked. Got that in here. It's successfully seeing that in this email address, there's a period after the .gov. So that's false. Down here, this is not a valid top level domain. It's .c3m instead of .com. And if I change that to .com, it'll change to true so forth and so on. Regular X or Reg X extract. Now let's say I wanted to extract the last name from these cells over here in column C. I just put some garbage after the last name, some phone numbers there, supposing my data got messed up and combined together. And all I wanted to do was extract the last name. So this one is a much simpler and it's kind of easier to read. We're looking for all of the lower and or uppercase letters and we're just pulling those out. Now for the regex replace, they used phone numbers for this same example. I popped in social security numbers to do the same deal. I again went over to our trusty friend in chat GPT. So we came up with this prompt, which successfully replaced the first five digits of the social security number with the asterisks you see over here. Asterisks, asterisks, not sure how you pronounce that word. At any rate, here is that formula and I will pop it out so we can read it a little bit better down here. Let's do the same for this one and there we go. As we mentioned, this is available only in the beta program. If you're not in the beta program, go up here to home you can go to accounts and then you can change the channel that you're in down here. So you can join the beta program, this Microsoft 365 insider program. Let's just uh, change this and look, we can say whether or not we're in the current channel or the beta channel, check for updates, all that stuff. Uh, once you do that, you might want to come in here and I had to actually update yesterday, update now right here in order for this to pop in, even though I had automatic updates checked. It was not available till I manually updated it yesterday. Of course, it was just released very recently. At any rate, I hope that's helpful for you. Check out this video on XLOOKUP next, and we'll see you next time.